Park had a question on, you know, what's a good trailing method for holding a winner? Um, it, it, it's, it depends. It's not as black and white. Um, mm -hmm. So it's like I've been in this aloe and, you know, you have to know the name you're trading. So this name is very explosive. And I know that it's right now it, it, it hit 3350 today. We're long from this 29 area. The eight day simple moving average is like when, when it was at 3350 today, it was like four dollars lower. So I know like the proper trail I need needs to be so wide in this name, in this particular name. So I'm going to mm -hmm. sell a lot inside 3350 and now I'm still keeping my 29 stop because this realistically, it needs, you know, it needs that really wide consolidation, but the weekly chart tells me it looks like it wants to go higher. So, mm -hmm. so like something like that, you know, it's like, you know, you take something to profit and you, you trail some on the proper trail, you find out where proper support is. But there are other trades that, you know, we keep tighter when you get a huge run up. Um, I don't know anything lately. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of one we did uh, recently. Oh, uh, so like LK, for example, like, you know, th this one absolutely exploded as well. But y when it goes from 22 to 32 so quickly, uh, it's a lot more difficult to trail that one similar to the ALLO. Um, so, uh, you know, it, it, it's a really trade by trade basis. I like to trail things. Uh, I, and I used to, I like to break my positions up into different portions where it's like, I'll trail a third tightly. I'll tra trail a third super wide. I'll trail a third on something like an eight day simple moving average. And then once that breaks, like, so, uh, we have a lot of different methods we use. It depends on how the trade triggers, uh, what the follow through is like all that. And kind of the pattern you're, you're trading. If I have a super, super macro trade. All right. So EA, uh, EA, we were talking about where it's like a hundred, where it's like, I can't, I can't move my stop in this yet because and I can't even really think of taking any off because it's such a macro trade. I want to sell this at 120 in so much time, but and it's just going to grind higher. But something like ALLO, you know, that's that makes 10% moves every day. I have to take some off into strength, uh, and so that I can hold on for the bigger move. But EA is just like I have to keep my stop here and keep keep it around this 96 or maybe some in this 98 area and just let it work. So I think it, it mostly depends on the type of trade you have on your hands, whether it's a macro trade or a more micro trade, whether you're trading a high beta, low beta type thing. But uh, so we have different strategies for each, and, and, it, and it really depends on how the trade triggers. You know, I know I gave a really mishmash answer, but it's just so not black and white, the answer. It's just yeah. so trade dependent. So, I mean, mm -hmm. that, that's the most thing I would say is knowing uh, your time frame with it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, a couple other little points. I know even like for me personally, when people talk about like, when they up their stops, you know, we tend to typically try to go low a day for some of the, the safer, slower names, not, you know, some of these higher beta names. And also the time when you up them, a lot of traders are always focusing on the market at like 931 and they're trying to up their stops when the market's still very wide and loose. Um, at least for me, I try to focus a little bit more towards the afternoon and kind of let that wash itself out. So, you know, by 11 o'clock, that's when I'll start to up those stops where later in the day, if it's taking out that low a day, the stock's probably going to head a little, head a little bit lower than I wanted to so that's just a simple rule of thumb that i tend to use um with stops i tend to up them later in the day and i focus more on just the low day or prior low day depending on the name so hopefully that helps nice. joe yeah i like that so, uh next up average joe is asking about um doji support